guys are a huge fan of dynamic mobility work. Uh, you know, anything that really opens the hip structures. Now, I'm, I have an ectomorph frame, which means I'm being Polish with orangutan arms, okay? So, and orangutan limbs. So what that means is that I collect a lot of tension, especially in the fascia, around my hip structures, around my glutes, around my lower back, okay? Short little boxy guys, they collect it more in their muscles. So, the point is, if I'm gonna stay long and lean, right, I need to be able to maintain my mobility. So signs that your mobility is going out the window is you start having knee pains inside, outside. You watch your feet collapse when you squat. You see this kind of stuff happening when you squat. When you lunge, you see this happening. Okay, when you step up, you find you're collapsing or that you're turning. Okay, all of the signs of you not being able to keep a very strict posture okay, come from mostly mobility issues that can be easily addressed. So I'm going to show you my three favorite leg-based mobility drills, okay? So inner thighs tend to be something that is fairly tight on guys. Now, a simple way to check whether your inner thigh is tight to go fairly wide, turn your toes out, and I want you to very gently catch yourself here. If you feel a long stretch that's more on the inside down here, that's your long adductor groups, okay? So that can be pretty tight. If it's more in your groin, that's a different story, and I'm gonna address that later. So I'm gonna switch to my other side. Now mind you, I just finished a ridiculous leg workout, so I'm gonna be tighter than normal. But I feel my left side more than the other side. So I need to be conscious of things like this because that may cause torquing when I'm squatting hip issues, which leads to lower back pain or knee pain or some other kind of pain. So I wanna show you one of my favorite lateral drills, okay? It's called the lateral surfer lunge. And I think most of the stuff I picked up from Mike Boyle and the Functional uh, Strength Coach product but what you're gonna do, and you have to be very careful with this, I'm gonna go lateral lunge, and as I lunge, I'm going to twist, okay, or flip this open. My hips are still straight, my knee is tracking over my toe, and my lower back has a good arch. Okay, so my posture is still there. The only thing that I've done is flicked that toe open. Okay, from this side. I like to find a line in the gym floor. That way that when I go this way and lateral lunge and this way and lateral lunge, if one side was really tight, what's gonna happen over five to 10 reps of these is I'm going to start traveling where now when my feet are together, I've moved four or five inches over. Okay, so nice little tip. Put yourself in the middle of a line in the gym floor. Go even distances, take your time. Okay, what that does gives me a nice inner thigh stretch, okay, and it's active. The next one is a full rotational lunge. Now, with rotation, what I'm trying to accomplish is basically 90 degrees. So this covers internal and external rotation of the hip. I need to be very mindful of what's going on with this knee, okay, that it stays tracking over the toe. That is first and foremost, this knee must track over this toe, okay. So, I'm going to put myself at 90 degrees that may be here and that may be here and you really need to play with that. A surfer lunge to so the kind of reverse is just gonna be here. So I have knees tracking over toes and kind of like I'm surfing, okay? And I may, if that's really tight, my base progression may just be rocking in and out of that. That gives me huge long adductor inner thigh stuff, okay? Making sure that this knee tracks over my toe and my back has a nice posture. Now, if I wanna progress that second progression, I'm going to lunge and catch. Now I am externally rotating the hip, knees are tracking over toes and my posture is still good. Now, if I want to further progress it, this is your third progression, I'm going to continue with internal rotation. So I have my heel at my foot, okay, my hips have been closed and I'm going to swing, land, and back. And this is quite difficult. And then of course, obviously I do the other side, most likely starting at my base progression, just a stationary surfer lunge. Okay, and then a traveling surfer lunge. Again, knees tracking over both toes. I don't have that caving in. And then that full rotational lunge. In mobility drills, in my head, I just like to think about being uber graceful. Now, the next one 
this addresses a lot of those long inductors, okay, so the ones you feel running from the groin all the way down, or maybe just at the bottom here. What about the short ones? Okay. So in this position, and I go down, if I was to reach for my heels, I'm going to feel my groin, okay, so my short inductors. Now if I was to reach here, now what I like to do is I like to be here, open again to that 90 degrees, okay, I'm just going to turn a little bit, so I'm at 90 degrees with my heels, and I'm going to slide down my inner thigh, trying to maintain a good arch in my back, okay, and I'm actually going to take my forearms and push my knees out because they want to cave in. I'm going to push them out. Now if I can get down to the point where I'm slapping my ankles, all the better. Okay? It may take a few reps, it may take a few months. I feel that huge in the groin. Okay, so you got to be super careful not to just ding these out. Again, I'm conscious of what's going on with my pelvis. I know I have a little bit of hip tuck going on, but again, trash my legs so my legs are going to be a little tight right now. So, 90 degrees, I'm going to slide down, pushing my legs out, reaching for my ankles, making sure my sternum is up. And this side naturally easier, not quite as tight. Okay, so <laughs> now I feel loose and gangly. So, mobility drills. You just find that you're squatting, you're feeling all kind of tension, pain, lower back issues. I want you to give these a try. All mobility drills are is self-assessment as to areas that may be dysfunctional because they're too tight, they're too loose, they lack mobility, they lack stability. It's all about discovering yourself. So these are just three drills that you need to experiment for yourself. Okay, so that lateral with the flip, that's that lateral circle lunge, that full rotational surfer lunge, and that 90 degree instep reach reverse lunge. Give them a try. Any questions, let me know.